Hi, my name is Arnal Gosling, and I'm the co-founder of Echo Nation, a local charity that looks at how music, the internet, and social media impact the mental health and behavior of young people. Today, we want to talk about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is basically the use of technology to repeatedly harass, threaten, or embarrass someone. There are several types of cyberbullying, and there are some of those types that are covered by the Computer Misuse Act. Things like threatening someone, sharing private information that may damage their reputation, sharing sexually explicit photos and images as well. All of these form part of cyberbullying. In cyberbullying, there are three main parties involved. The bully, the one who's actually doing the bullying, harassing or threatening someone. The victim, the person who's the result or the subject of that embarrassment or threats. And then there is the bystander, someone who knows or have observed this cyberbullying action happening. There are a number of reasons why people may get involved in cyberbullying. Because they have been threatened themselves, because of fun, it may seem exciting, they want to be popular, because of peer pressure, there are a lot of reasons why people get involved. But no matter what the reason is, cyberbullying is wrong. When we look at the impact that cyberbullying has on its victims, is really severe, especially in a digital era. Young people today grow up in a digital era where their digital world plays a major part of their real world. In society today, the things that you do online has a major impact. In our real life, it impacts our character, our image, our reputation, our relationships, and our mental health and behavior as well. So we want that cyberbullying is something that is stopped at every point in society. It has a major impact on victims in terms of feeling isolated, feeling depressed. Some of them may go to the points of suicide, withdrawals, actually sickness. All these things impact the mental health and health, physical health of victims. And we want that persons who are aware of cyberbullying get involved with trying to stop the bullying act. How can we do this? We start first by being an ally. An ally is someone who empathizes with the victim of cyberbullying and gives them support, emotional support. You side with them, you encourage them, you get them involved, you don't leave them stranded. And then you can also be an upstander. <clears throat> an upstander is someone who says to the bully, this behavior is not accepted. Usually, when we become upstanders and we explain to the person who is actually doing the bullying that this is not accepted, they usually desist from the bullying action. And there are many other things that you can do as well. We always encourage victims of cyberbullying to take these few steps to help curve the bullying action and its impact that it could have on you. First step is to block the offending party. All right? You don't need to continue any type of communication whatsoever with the person who is threatening or embarrassing you. The next step is talk to someone, a trusted adult, talk to a parent if you are a child or a teen, talk to someone who could help you get through this. The next step is sometimes because of the nature of the act or the bullying, you may want to save the evidence or save the information so it can be escalated to someone who can do something about it. Whether that's a teacher, whether that's a school administrator, or in some cases, whether that's the police. So if you happen to be involved in cyberbullying, we want you to know that there is the Barbados Computer Misuse Act that deals with this type of thing. It looks at how we use technology to threaten, harass, or embarrass someone. And the Computer Misuse Act violations of this results in an imprisonment and or fine. So we don't want your reputation to be damaged. We don't want your real world to be impacted by what you do online. We want you to be positive, safe, and responsible with your engagement with digital technologies.